Hello and welcome to another question from numbers. In this question, we are trying to look at exponents. What I would suggest is you have a look at the question, try it out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. If you look at the question, there are some really weird values that we can see here, right? So x raised to 2018 is a huge number, y raised to 2017 is a large number, x raised to 2016, y raised to 2019, these are all big numbers. But the thing to understand here is that the paper setter would never expect you to calculate the exact values of x raised to 2016 and x raised to 2017 and whatnot. So you have to trust the paper setter and try to go with the flow and see where it leads. So here if you look at the question, because you have something as a product and you have something as another product and you are expected to find a sum, what you can do is you can divide these two expressions by each other. So in this case, let's say I take x raised to 2018 into y raised to 2017 and divide it by x raised to 2016 and y raised to 2019. So what are we going to get? 2016 is going to get cancelled out when it comes to the power of x and 2017 is going to get cancelled out when it comes to the power of y. So what we are going to be left with is x raised to 2018 by x raised to 2016 that is x square and in terms of y we are going to get y raised to 2017 upon y raised to 2019 or y square in the denominator. This is going to be equal to 1 by 2 divided by 8 or 1 by 16. Now what we can do in this case is we can express either x or y in terms of the other variable. So here we can say that x by y equals 1 by 4. I am just putting 1 by 4 for the sake of simplicity and I will let you know what the reason is behind the same. So x by y is say 1 by 4. So you get the value of y as 4x. Now obviously many of you would have thought that y could be equal to either plus 4x or minus 4x which is perfectly reasonable. And you can try that out in the replica question that has been attached at the end of this video. But for now, let's go ahead with y equals 4x. The good thing about this is we have to find the value of x square plus y cube. And because x square is going to happen, the value of x being positive or negative is not going to impact our solution at all. And that is why we are not really worrying about what is going to be the value of x square and what is going to be the value of y cube. So let's say we are seeing y equals 4x. If y equals 4x, what we can do is we can plug in the value of y equal to 4x in either of these equations. I would go for the second equation because it is equal to an integer. So let's see what happens. So in the second expression, x raised to 2016 will be written as it is. Instead of y raised to 2019, we are going to write 4x the whole raised to 2019. And this product is going to be equal to 8. So if you simplify this further, you are going to see x raised to 2016 multiplied by 2 square because 4 is in the form of 2 square, 2 square the whole raised to 2019 which will become 2 raised to 2 into 2019 or 2 raised to 4038 multiplied by another x raised to 2019 equals we will write this as 2 cubed. Now if you add the powers of x here you are going to see x raised to 2016 plus 2019 is going to be x raised to 4035 and if you take this 2 raised to 4038 to the right hand side it is going to become 2 raised to minus 4038 because 2 raised to 4038 is going to go to the denominator. So what we will be left with is 2 raised to 3 minus 4038 which is 2 raised to 4035. So minus 4035 rather. So 2 x raised to 4035 will be equal to 2 raised to minus 4035. What does, this, uh, what does that tell us about the value of x? The value of x is going to be 1 by 2. Why is it 1 by 2? Because 2 raised to minus 4035 is the same as 1 by 2 the whole raised to 4035. Now I got the value of x as 1 by 2. y is equal to 4x. So if y is equal to 4x, the value of y becomes 4 times half or we have to find what is the value of x square plus y cube. x square plus y cube will be nothing but square of 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 plus y cubed that is 2 cube or 8. 
the total is going to be 1 by 4 plus 8 or 32 plus 1 divided by 4 which will give us 33 by 4 as our answer. And so, the correct answer here is option 2. Now, if you have understood this concept and want to explore a bit more of this, then we have a replica question at the end of this video. Do try that out. It is slightly difficult and it is slightly trickier compared to the original question. So, do let us know your answers in the comment section. Happy learning.